Six of the most life-threatening jobs in the world. Sulfur mining. Working conditions inside the Aegean volcano are so dangerous, many miners don't live past 50 years old. Indonesia's Kawa Aegean volcano is famous for its blue flames. But to locals, it's the sulfur within its depths, known as the Devil's Gold Dash that provides its true value. However, the miners have to pay a high price with their health to obtain this treasure. The miners' torturing journey begins at midnight when they hike up to the top, collect the sulfur, and return with a heavy material balanced on a pole across their shoulders. As the miner descends, they realize how toxic and harsh this environment actually is. It is so harsh that their eyes don't stop watering and they can hardly breathe. Most of the miners cannot afford masks, so they work with just a handkerchief or damp cloth to cover their noses and mouths. More than half of the miners suffer from pharyngitis, inflammation of the back of the throat, as well as deformations of the spine and legs. Bird's Nest Harvester Men risk 100-foot falls by scaling unstable limestone cliffs to collect a nest made out of bird saliva. These unique bird nests are found inside caves across Southeast Asia and the harvesters are known as busiadors. Alvin Villarendo's family has collected swiftlet nests for decades, and they go barefoot across slippery, pointy rocks. The climbers create the ladders with the help of bamboo that is tied together. Salt Farmers Reportedly, India is one of the world's largest salt producers, and roughly a third of it comes from deep in this desert. Families of Agarayas live there and farm salt by hand, they have been producing salt for centuries in a harsh environment. Situated about 130 km from Ahmedabad, the run of Kutch is a seasonal salt marsh located in the Thar Desert in Gujarat. The salt farmers prefer to start their day early to avoid the scorching desert heat. During the day, the mercury can soar up to 40 degrees Celsius, even in December. The Agaraya children start working in the salt fields from the age of 10, generational poverty. Acai Farmers These limestone quarries in Minya, Egypt, may be one of the world's most dangerous work environments. Obvious hazards include stone cutters and drivers speeding through clouds of dust, but it is the limestone that causes significant health damage. Workers inhale a lot of dust. This contains high levels of silica, so it can cause silicosis. The disease can also cause heart tissues, like known as pulmonary hypertension, which is incurable. The only solution lies in preventative measures, if you find a worker wearing a mask then it will just be a regular surgical mask. Those who opt for working in the quarries risk either violent demise through accidents involving machinery or electric cables. All the wires are exposed, posing massive electrocution risks. What can we do? It's not like we can get any other job. Dipsy Fishers the job might look exciting and adventurous, but if you ever get to experience what they do, you will realize deep sea fishers have one of the most hazardous jobs in the world. Especially the fishermen in Alaska, who risk life and limb to haul in the millions of tons of seafood that end up on dinner plates. Because of the state's geographical location, the waters are often colder and more unforgiving than other fishing environments. Add pelting rain rogue waves and icy decks, and that work becomes lethal. Iron Workers An iron worker is yet another lethal job that reports a fatal injury rate of 29 per 100,000 workers on average. They are responsible for installing iron and steel on bridges, buildings, and roads. Their work also includes climbing up on large structures, unloading the materials, and signaling the crane operators. Iron workers are the most likely of all in the trade occupations to be injured on a construction site. Because iron workers often work in extremely high places, they face a huge risk of falling, leading to traumatic brain injuries, spinal cord injuries, or demise.